Hey guys, Steven Kells RC. Remember this? It's somewhere up there. Well, I thought I'd narrow it down to the differential or the ring opinion. Um, turns out it wasn't that. I've since further diagnosed it to the transmission, so in today's Snap Parts episode 2, we're going to take the transmission apart on 5th element and have some water leak out too of the tires. But we're going to take the transmission apart and further diagnose it. I have a feeling it's going to be the uh, plastic ring and pinion. So a little tip when you deal with these. I know they are a bear. Take your time. Take your time on these and use the uh, assembly grease to help you put these together. But we're going to take it apart and see which one it is. I have a feeling it's going to be the front gear, the uh, front overdrive, because the front is where all the skipping occurs when it does skip. So let's set up the camera and get to work on this.
Well. Snap Parts Episode 2. Hmm. There's going to have to be a... This is about to be a long one, guys. Could have swore it was the... Uh, gears inside the transmission, but apparently not. Um, you saw me put my finger on the motor because it smelled something burning and I realized, huh, blast from the past. Got it too close to the uh, transmission. Guess I'm going to have to order me a new spur gear. So, yeah, <laughs> I gotta have this ready for Beat the Creek. It's, this is being recorded before, so I don't know if this is going to air before or after, but uh, for some reason my GoPro went into, uh, what's it called, a time lapse without me realizing it. And when I took the transmission apart, I was actually talking, trying to talk about how the gears inside looked fine. But like I said, my GoPro decided to go into time lapse mode. Hopefully you guys are hearing me pretty good. But yeah, I didn't see anything wrong with the plastic gears inside the transmission. I just went ahead and changed them anyway, uh, just in case. I I'm guessing it's the transmission or the spur gear uh, I mean they do look a little worn down so uh, yeah I'm gonna order me a new spur gear and whenever that gets here I'll get that installed and we'll try this again didn't expect this episode to be so long thought it was gonna be a simple fix never is I don't know. <laughs> oh, morning guys. Stephen Kells RC, as we already know. Hopefully, it's been several days since uh, I tried working on my G-Speed 5th Element. Uh, we're going to try the spur gear. And the spur gear I got is Robinson Racing. Uh, I didn't find a plastic spur gear, I'd rather have that, but we're going to give this one a try. Um, I got my Avid Racing bearings ready, because I'd like to have a shielded bearing in there. So, let's pop this open so you can see it. Hey, it's nice to see stickers. Stickers are always nice. Uh, staple. All right. And it does come with some instructions, it looks like. Yep. 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 That's pretty self explanatory, but uh, that's pretty big, beefy. Um, Hopefully it doesn't affect the center of gravity too much, but I don't want that kind of bearing. Um, this bearing will be fully exposed to the element, so we are going to definitely see if... Let's do that right quick. I think this one ought to do it. That is the right width or diameter it is a little bit oversized hmm. and it appears that won't work hmm Isn't that cool? I've 
much rather use after racing bearings. We're going to try one more. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to try to find a bearing right quick to fit this. If I don't, then we'll just use that one and eventually we'll have that one replaced. But let me find a bearing, reposition the camera, and we're going to get to work on my G speed. Fingers crossed this works because I've got to have this ready for Beat the Creek. This is being recorded before Beat the Creek. This may appear after Beat the Creek, so we'll see. Give me, give me just a moment, guys. gotten it outside yet we're gonna get some running footage of it but I'm gonna blame this one on user error it wasn't necessarily a snap part the original spur gear looks in pretty good condition like I said it when initially I didn't find anything wrong with the gears inside the transmission looking at the spur gear nothing wrong with it what I did find however is my grub screw was hitting the uh, teeth on the spur and causing it to catch so now it's not catching so this one was complete user <laughs> error all on me ah <sighs> What a great episode of Snap Parts, guys. <laughs> so let's get it outside, see how it sounds. Um, if it sounds great, we're just going to leave it there. Get her, along with all my other rigs, cleaned up for Beat the Creek. Um, like I said, this episode is more than likely going to air after Beat the Creek. So, yeah. Like, subscribe, catch you on the flip side. Let's see how she does.